Hey YouTube, welcome to another GBL game. This one between the Seattle Pilots, who still don't have a logo, and the London Lords. This is an afternoon game at Greater Nevada Hello Field, I believe us. it's called. MLB, the yep. show brings you I love the stadium. Baseball. It's the London Lords and the Pilots. The Lords are 7-6, and six, the Pilots are 12-3. and three. This is the monthly awards mini-season. And I have no idea why the logo is not appearing in the overlay. I fixed it three times. And I, I have no reason. So it's on the uniform, it's down. on the hat, on the it's hill. everywhere it's supposed Nick to be Pavetta. except on the overlay, so oh, I, I just don't know. Nick Pavetta's on the mound the for kind of the Pilots. He's 3-1 in the there, season. When he's standing on top of the bump. It's like he's looking down on you, so hitters have to be prepared for a couple He needs of innings pitch in the monthly awards mini season. There is the the gonna be a reward to for so innings pitch with in top now he relievers. To do some I think you need 21 innings pitch for 15. Off, it takes so I have two top now relievers in my bullpen, been alternating between the two of them. To get those 21 innings, we're getting close. But I really don't know why the Swing logo is not showing up. Yeah, the count is 0-2. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. I really don't know. I can tell you it's annoying though. This is the third game in a row Swings that it has that and it's a strikeout. no and logo down no there in the overlay. And, he'll be beating himself up all and it's not like I don't know what I'm doing. Got a pitch to hit and we just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it and was And I've heard some other people complain about it. And now the shortstop, happening. Anthony Volpe. There's just no excuse for that. First pitch just misses. I mean, when the game first launches, I get it. <clears throat> this thing's been out for months now, six months. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Seven months, maybe. Long enough where that should not happen. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. He goes down looking. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having because, a distraction... Because before you know it, it'll be a three-run homer. ...and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. How about you don't get distracted? You don't serve pitch. up a cookie. And you get out of the inning without being scored upon. Down back our way, and that's out of play. Two thousand and thirteen. I think that's a good approach. Playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. I don't so use this stadium this very blasted. often. I it's do like it though. I really like it. Good nice catch there. Track makes the catch. I don't know who made it. It's called Greater Nevada Anthony Field. Complete. We've got no score. I did make some changes to it and adjustments for uh, things that I liked. Uh, overall, though, it's a very nice design. Uh, whoever did it did a really nice job. I changed maybe 5 10 percent of it. A few things here and there. Try to stay back but it is really a beautiful stadium. I just I don't use it that often. Um, I don't use it in the franchise or anything, but I do like playing here. Because it's a different layout. Rodriguez, you're talking about one of the top young players in all of baseball, Chris. Oh. So talented, a rookie of the year, an all-star, and a silver star. And whoever made it did a really nice job. I said, I only changed a few things here and there. His individual numbers, but you can tell the way that he plays the game, that they feed off of his energy. Probably the reason I don't use it in uh, franchises is because it says play. Greater Nevada Field. <laughs> There's no teams in Nevada. The there will be left. soon. Volpe. And no throw. He's into first easily. But I don't have the A's right there. I mean, in my franchise. The I have the uh, Kansas City A's in my franchise. They moved like from Oakland back to Kansas game, City. Once they get in a position to do so. Man at first with one gone. Watch Soto now. 
There we go. Can't make the play. I had to fix that scoreboard out there. It and wasn't even that whole no setup out there where the scoreboard is no beyond the left field wall. Everything was off. It was pretty cool the way it was put together, but everything was just off. It wasn't matching up. Good. I had to go in there and mess with it for. It took me about an hour to get everything flush and level. The way it's supposed to be. You can see the drawbridge in the background there. You'll one. Foul ball. Otani over at second. Soto at first. One gone. That misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Activity in the bullpen. Cody Morris preparing to come on if needed. Jakes, the lefty, warming up as well. Good eye right there. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed. That might drop. Could be trouble. It will. And it brings in a run. RBI single. Aaron Judge. And it's one nothing. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. On the ground, a second might be two. Oh, he no. throws it away. It won't be. A run's going to score. And in comes the runner from second to score. That's a, a huge error. There. Yes, it this was. just got a major gift. Probably should have been a double play, but it all starts with the good feed to second. And right there, everything broke down on the throw. We'll see if they can capitalize on this. Say a Suzuki, the next to hit. Well, we already did. One run is in. One run came in on the play. Maybe a two ball. That'll be two. Four. Out. Three double play. And the inning is over. But two runs for them and they jump ahead. One inning in the books here. The pilots on top here. Two to nothing. He made a nice turn that time. One in the books here at Greater Nevada Second Field. This go. afternoon, now pilots lead DH, two nothing. Eric all right, Kirkering's the other guy I've been rotating, and he is out of energy, so he's not an option. Pavetta back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. Righty delivers. Got him. And a quick out number one. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down. I got this. Now the third base. Uh, I don't think he's telling them that. He doesn't have enough energy. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. This looks like extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And it's a double. Their first hit in this one. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Now the catcher up to hit, Henry <laughs> Davis. I don't think it is. In there for strike one. <laughs> I really don't think it is. One out and a runner at second. Fouled off. He was late. Good crowd here this afternoon at Greater Nevada Field. To see the London Lords and the Seattle Pilots. 
Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Stepping in, Will Benson. There's a strike. That one missed. The one one is fouled off. Rudder at second, two down. Swing and a drive. This one uh, way back there. Going. That one is gone. We wow. are tied. That cleared the bullpen out onto the berm. 440 foot shot. Couldn't. It couldn't be a solo two, shot, two. right? It has to be a two-run shot. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good he chance sent it a long way. Foul, but not this time. Clearing the bullpen, almost cleared the berm. Just long enough Bounced up onto the concourse ball. there. Spencer it was a slider now. middle in. It wasn't a terrible pitch. He gave up a couple of runs in the first. He turned and burned on it. Up. It's time for him to settle in now and throw up some zeros on that scoreboard. All in one now. That was funny. Good eye right there. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. Go with the splitter. pitch that's to third sends it to first that ends the frame but two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two run homer 2-2 two -two game and he hit it a long way up onto the berm bounced up onto the concourse 440 foot blast. We got a tie they game. All over to a new arm, Cody Morris. Now, he's 0 and 1. Morris. Blew a save. Seven games, six innings, 12 ERA. See if we can take Wick advantage Merrifield of that. Up to the plate. For Seattle, the second baseman, Wick Merrifield. And a pitch. Out to center. Benson settles underneath it. One away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Oh, and two now. Got uh, him swinging for the strikeout. So I was looking low and away. Three. Quick he three got me. pitch strikeout. Got and you look at the sequence. The, the plan was clearly to work him inside. Didn't want to let him get his arms extended, make him a little bit under. That's why I was looking there. away. He ended up overmatching him in the process. That's one you have to take note of as a hitter for next time you come to the plate. At the play, Jonah Heim. Hard hit, right side. Horowitz takes it to the bag, gets him easily, ends the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We head on now to the top of the third. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Zidane Rafaela. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base. He's got, has got one more batter in him. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. <clears throat> All right. 
That's it. You're done. Well, I don't know. Maybe you can get a double play. Try one more about it. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Transfer bobbled and there's no throw. So there goes the double play. All right, take him out. Oh, he's got a strike on the guy. And that one fouled off. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Oh, and a base God. hit right there. <clears throat> runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score. It's 3-2. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another the one more batter syndrome strikes again. He's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Now the number two hitter. We had a two nothing lead. Jose Alvarado into the game. Pretty tight game. Been in two games, he's one and oh. Two innings, no runs. Keep the score right where it is. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Alvarado measures six feet two inches, 245 pounds. On the monthly awards mini season here that we're playing. The ultimate reward for winning it all is that for a strike. Carlos Pena card. That's a nice card. I want that. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it. At the belt and fires. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Monasterio gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Hey. Caught him looking for the K. What's, what was he going to hit the catcher? <laughs> Looks like he was going to slam the catcher in the head with the bat. He was a little upset there. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. That clips the corner. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle now, Charlie, and you can see why. Good. It's not a Very looping right. slow curve. He throws oh. it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Eric Haas. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. Hey. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. and two now knocks that one away and we'll do it again lined and that's a base hit Damn. throw stops the lead runner at second two on and two out now batting third base Nick, Nick Maton now Maton. at the plate that's in there oh and one Two on, two outs. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Rodriguez settles under it and makes the play, and that's out number three. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Pilots had a 2-0 lead. Now they find themselves down 3-2, coming into the bottom half of the third inning. They need one to tie, two to walk it off. New pitcher on here, Tim Hill. And I can't imagine any save. Tim is one and one, one with four saves. Two bone saves. Seven point seven ERA. It's always high over stress. four and two thirds innings. Here, we got the top to of the, the order here in the bottom of the ninth inning. That seems very conducive for 
That's good speed at, at least the getting the tying run get across. On. See if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And there it is. Julio Rodriguez all over it toward the picnic area and gone. We got a tie game here at Greater Nevada Field. Second of the year for Julio. 403 foot shot. First pitch he sees, he puts into the picnic area. Great start to the inning. We've got a barn burner here at Greater Nevada Field. Pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one, and you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great yep, time came to down right, right in, in the picnic the area. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Here's Shohei Otani, reached on an infield single his first time. Oh, and this Shohei, he's going to walk it off. High and deep to center, long gone. Pilots win back to back home runs. And the game is over. 500 foot bomb by Shohei Otani, his third of the season. Back to back homers in the bottom of the third, and the Pilots turn a one run deficit into a walk off victory. Is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. I think they cleared the picnic area and straight away center field. And the final score here 4 3. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Jose Alvarado gets the win. Tim Hill takes the loss. He only threw two pitches. They both turned into souvenirs this afternoon at Greater Nevada Field. The Pilots got four runs on five hits. The London Lords, three runs on five hits. And they made one error. What a barn burner here this afternoon. Back-to-back -back homers in the bottom of the third inning, and the Seattle Pilots walk off a victory. There's Julio's bomb. And there's the walk-off winner, Shohei Otani, 500 feet. He's your player of the game, two for two with that home run. Julio Rodriguez, one for two with the home run. Juan Soto, one for one. Aaron Judge, one for one with a home run. Jose Alvarado gets the victory. He pitched one inning, gave up no runs on one hit, and he struck out two. Seattle Pilots, two in the bottom of the third on back-to-back -back home runs. They walk off the London Lords, four to three. Jose Alvarado gets the victory. He is two and zero. Oh. That was fun. That was a barn burner. Pilots over the Lords this afternoon at Greater Nevada Field, 4-3 to three in walk-off fashion. Hope you had fun. Thanks for joining. I'll see you next time.